go. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Can I have... One, two, three, four, five, one, two, there we go.
so the stage is set for the final game of match week four in MPL New South Wales Women's as Bulls Academy take on Arpia Leichhardt from Valentine Sports Park on the grass today. And what shapes up to be an absolute beauty. Bulls and Arpia. Nicholas Kutnyak with you on Sunday Night Footy. And we are looking forward to bringing this game to you. Arpia will be defending left of screen. Forward to seeing how they go after what has been an indifferent start for them this year. They defeated Olympic last week to get their first win of 2024, defeating Olympic 3-0. The Bulls, who are currently coming second, a draw last week, but had wins in their opening two games of the season. They are underway, all booted forward. Napier, as I said, defending left of screen. The Bulls defending right. Possession now for Rose. Foul called, challenge on her. Ball is booted forward towards the edge of the area. Headed down by Young, captain of this Arpia side. Balls trying to mount a raid. Wookmeyer heads it forward. He stopped by the Arpia goalkeeper. Vargas. Forwards back in from Barazio to Young. Worked across the face. Mr. Tulu working it to the left. Ball up the line. Bulls will shut it down. And the game previously here. Won by Football New South Wales Institute against the Northern Tigers 3-1. Dave McDonald did a great job behind the Mike calling that as Lockmeyer was dispossessed. The former Spartan. Lockmeyer, what spoken about her this season so far. The foul eventually called for Arpia. The challenge on Giselle Pepino. Challenge a couple of yards in from halfway. Histadulu to take this. Ball has worked. Edge of the 18 yard box. Cross is trying to cut in, dispossessed. Now the ball's on the charge. Well, it's going to open up this game a little bit. Seeing a couple of rough challenges. Balls will get the foul. About 16 yards from halfway. where this ball will go. Melly is calling for it on the left. Gray going short. She'll get possession again from the Volkanovski pass. We'll see the Volk move the cross to the Bulls this season. Beginning plenty of game time. Corey. Ball goes back to Gray. Now it's on the left. Melly. Good work by Cross. Crofts again, needs to cut back inside. She goes herself, Crofts. Millie on her. Millie plays it out. A throw on this near side. Who comes in from Barazio. Cleared out by the Bulls. So be, well, touched off Arpia last in transition. The referee says so it will be the academy with the throw. Corey tried to Trap it, the ball goes back and touched off by Vale. Trudy Simmons, good to see her back in the lineup today. Trudy, of course, out for the first couple of weeks. It's now Crofts trying to work it back inside. Bulls winning possession here just on halfway. Throw will go to Arpia. We're challenging by Charlotte Young. Battle between her and the counterpart for the Bulls Academy. It's going to be a great battle throughout the game today. Rick, Rick. No taken by Arpius Barazio. Comes back for Gray to work it up to halfway. Headed down by Histadulu. It's 
Meyer trying to get to it. Ball goes back to Millie. Up your knee to apply the pressure on this ball side who are trying to make a run, but Crofts won it. Played on by Pepino, and it goes back eventually to Trudy Simmons. Goes to halfway. Harpia. That position. Young. Charlotte Young works it up to halfway. Benor tried to work it forward. It was won by Souza. Mara Souza trying to work it up the line to Rose. All won by Pepino. Harpia going forward again. Down the left channel. It's Lancaster. She crosses it in. Crofts is in position. She lays it back in. Shot is beautiful. Walking against the opener. Arpia 1-0. Well, what a play. Lancaster with the cross at the far post. It was Crofts who worked it back inside. Got herself in the spot. The opening goal is there. Walker. Tapia leading 1 0 here. The VSP. What a start. The start they're looking for. The opening goal of the game. Walker trying to get to it, can't. The work by Melly. Ball goes to halfway. The ball's quickly trying to do something. From behind as Melly played it straight to up here is Marazio. Marazio has possession again, working it to the left. Again, it's Lancaster. Good pressure by Rose. Ball touches off Arpia last. Will be a throw on the far side. Just working with the cool, calm, collected Miller. Oh, I've got to say, I've never seen a cameraman just nice and relaxed. He's sitting down. He's even taking the headphones off because he doesn't want to listen to me anymore. That's how relaxed he is as the ball goes back to Trudy Simmons. I think he's filming very practical, to be honest, as the ball is worked on. Here's Wuchtmeyer. He's trying to beat the defence of Young. At the end, it was worked on by Margus. Orazio. Pepino. But again, it's Lancaster. Lancaster working it to the left. And we'll quickly go back to Histadulu. Rose wins the ball. She works it right side. Again, the academy trying to go forward. Look at the Scipio working it out. That far side. ex a player. Good crowd in for a Sunday night. It's been a busy day around, uh, around Australia. We'll all have to give a cheerio to a good man, Tom Crediti. He's a part of our coverage. Go back to that in a second. It's looked Meyer. Going on the outside of her opponent in Barazio. Uxmeyer was taken. She got back up. Uxmeyer cuts off here. The defender crosses it in. And the touch just wasn't there. Coco oh, Decipio was trying to get the angle. Just couldn't. And the score remains 1-0 up here. Yeah, so uh, Dominic uh, Crediti. Congratulations to him. He's covered his first Formula 1 Grand Prix. For his... Uh, Normal nine to five job during the week for a sports radio station. He was a part of the online service, their website, and has done a great job. He actually was interviewing the drivers at the press conference yesterday when Max Verstappen won pole. And actually asked Max Verstappen a question. Let's just say Max Verstappen tried to hit him between the eyes. Tom's reply was good. I love it. It's the hardest thing when you go to a press conference, ask a question, and then you get shut down by 
the interviewee. But if you can quickly reply back, yeah, OK. And don't worry, Dom handled himself very well. As long as you're not going, da, 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 Max Verstappen. Even though we weren't hearing that today, and can I just say, on behalf of everybody that is an F1 supporter, how good. That was science, was on fire. Charles Leclerc at second. You would have thought that would have been the opposite, considering uh, who's staying there and who's going next year. Um, and, of course, Lando Norris finishing third in the Grand Prix as Trudy Simmons works it up. And Oscar Piastri was fourth. Unlucky, Oscar. I was cheering for him today. <laughs> They're across trying to work it forward. Ball eventually goes out. Touch off the academy. Talking about the Bulls Academy, two wins so far to the start of the year. They're opening two games. The draw, as I mentioned last week, second on the ladder. Is now there needing to clear this via Rose, who lets it sit. Look, uh, it was a draw last week against the University of New South Wales at the Village Green. Now, if you just see this full side doing something this year, they've got some great players in their lineup. I spoke before how good it was to see Volkanovski in the lineup. Have a look, Maya. She makes her way to the club, same as Corey. A couple of key players is clearing this is great. Harpy have got a, a fantastic lineup as well. It's a team that did it nicely last year. And I'll be looking to do it again in 2024. Not the best of starts to the year, but they're a side that will realign pretty quickly. As Gray works this. And back for it is Sophie Margus from the safe pair of gloves in this competition. Adal was on the bench today for Bullside. She kept the opening three games of the year while Trudy Simmons was away. So this was in the lineup but did not play. Now possession for Uchtmeyer. It's won by Crofts and then lost by Barazio. Now Uchtmeyer working it on. Couldn't get to it. Coco de Sipio. Now Arpio on halfway. Pepino. Now a chance for Lancaster. Lancaster. Lancaster going and going. Shoots! What a lovely goal! Brilliant timing by Charlotte Lancaster. What a strike. Oh my God, that took me a second. I was like, oh. It's hard to get the angle right for a left footer to make sure it sneaks into the bottom right corner, but she has done that so well. And Arpia got the lead 2 0. What a start to this game for Arpia. What a goal. That is an absolute beauty. We'll be talking about that for a while. Charlotte Lancaster. Fourteen minutes into this one. And Arpia have got control. A goal basically every seven minutes if you want to do the math so far. As Barazio worked it back and Young works it up to halfway. Clearing this is grey, but didn't really clear it. Went down the Crofts who just hoiks it forward. And it comes back to Trudy Simmons. What about that for a strike? That actually got to nearly everybody off their chair. Such a brilliant shot. You could just see she was always going to make an effort. And as the foul goes Arpia's way, but you didn't think it was going to be a shot like that. Oh, the timing. Impeccable. Impeccable. It's 
For Walker and Lancaster, the goal scorers, Lancaster this season gets three goals to her name. Hasn't she been brilliant for Arpia this year? Just under a goal a game. What's it, 75%? At the moment, goals the game ratio. As the ball goes back to Simmons. I hope that's right because my math is pretty poor. So as I couldn't do much with it. Ball's now looking to go left. There's Millie in position. Millie working the ball inside. Oh, a good chance for Ruckmeyer. Ruckmeyer has to take a shot. She's taken down. No foul. Well, she probably should have went earlier, to be honest. Ruckmeyer, she beat her opponent first time, but then as she was driving away into the area, probably was focusing too much on getting close to the goal instead of taking the shot. Score remains 2-0 Arpia. Yeah, look, really... I think she should have went hard. She was able to shove off her opponent in Histadulu. Yeah, she could have went earlier, to be honest. Could have went earlier. Football New South Wales on YouTube this week. You can watch all the action live and free and on demand. It's a, a great platform. I keep on talking about the watch mojo effect this has got now every time I think of hitting the bell for notifications. You can hit it for some notifications, and you can hit it for all notifications. I suggest all notifications. On that note, trying to win the ball, the Academy Sousa gives away the foul, and rightfully so, it's going to be a card. Couldn't really do that on Estelle Fagale. I don't want to exactly say it was almost like a rugby tackle, but the way she was pulling her away. It's actually a funny thing. I hear it quite a bit now. Everybody go, a rugby tackle. Now, we're going to try to work the differences between a rugby and a rugby league tackle. And also, if we throw in an Aussie rules tackle, which really, that's a different league again. As ball has worked forward from Charlotte Young. Entered the 18-yard box. Didn't do much as Bulls Academy have possession. This is Rose, who has it. She'll dart around the coast. Go back for Trudy Simmons. Simmons towards halfway. Played down initially by Walker, goal scorer. There's now Melly up the line again. This is where they're much better. That ball from Rose, and she's taken down Wooksmeyer, but the foul goes towards Arpia. Now she does call a ball's foul. So it goes Bull's direction. Repeating goal scorers Walker and Lancaster for Arpia. There's Millie. She's trying to work it up the line to Luxmeyer, but couldn't. It's a great work by Barazio trying to find Crofts, but she couldn't. Ball goes back to Gray. Gray utilizes Trudy Simmons. Going towards halfway. Crofts. Now a chance again for Papino. Papino trying to cut forward. She's got Vale on her. She works left. And then a shot by Lancaster, this time on the right foot. The score remains 2 0. Now the ball was crossed in by Lockmeyer. It is brilliant. Oh, Coco de Scipio. She got herself in a great spot. But what about Lockmeyer? The cross was brilliant. And the header 
just as. Wilksmeyer was outside the area. She was crossing on the left foot. Margus couldn't come back. And what about that? Just got the nod in the right position. Just watching where the ball would have went. Didn't need the nod. Oh, she'll claim it. She'll say, yeah, it needed the nod. Looks my will probably go, oh, could have had another goal. But uh, Isabella Coco de Scipio against her old club, if you don't mind. Up here. Lead cut down to 2-1 after leading 2-0 in this one. And all of a sudden the confidence. Coco de Scipio trying to go wide. Shut down by Kaparazov. It will be Margus again. Kaparazov will look to go back inside. She does the Histadulu. And now it's Lancaster. Lancaster cutting up towards halfway. Caster was trying to work it to the left. It did bounce off the Ciasio. Arpia have it on halfway. Sunday night, MPL Women's. Nicholas Kutniak with you. It's Lancaster looking to go back to the left. The ball was low by Pepino. There goes Arpia's way as Lancaster looking to work it back. Walker. Touch was an overly flash by Pepino. Souza going forward. Now trapped is Coco de Scipio. Lancaster taken down. That's the challenge. It's really rough and the card will be given. Can't argue about that, Coco de Scipio. Goal scorer before now. A yellow card going to her name. Score here. 2 1, RPA lead. Full moon tonight as well. Here at Valentine Sports Park. Which is above, actually, where we're about to see this free kick. <laughs> He's the duel. Works it up to the 18 yard box. Hit it off Farley. Parazov works it back. He's the tool who tried to cut it back inside. Touches off the balls and will be a throw on that far side. The M2 slash M7 end. This brilliant venue at Valentine Sports Park, the home of football in New South Wales, and the home of MPL Women's Grand Finals. This ground has seen a fair bit as we see another dog here at the venue. Actually, there's two dogs on that far side at the moment together with that owner. I make mention of that and I have to explain. Yesterday, I think it was during the MPL women's game at Christie Park, there was a dog at the Arctic Circle that ended up on the pitch as foul will be given to Bulls Academy. Challenge on Gray. Yeah, so there was literally a dog that ended up on the pitch. Oh, I love those stories. I really do. It's one of the great things about football in this country. Random things can happen, and we love it. We love it. As now, it's Farley with position. Malik, laid off by Crofts. Will be a throw on this side again for the Academy. Now, Young, work it back.
He's the tool. To Mark here. Oh, back to Margus. Might be enjoying this one, wherever you may be. It's a very intriguing game here. As I mentioned before, Arpia got their first win of the season last week against Olympic in the game at Leichhardt. Just the intriguing nature of this as Kaparasov trying to clear it. Ball's chipped it forward. Ball goes out. I don't think she was ever going to get to it. That far side. But she tried, Corey. Gray chips it up. Coco okay, Decipio. She couldn't really turn and shoot. She will anyway. Goes over the top. No goal. Decent effort, but never really going to be the goal. She didn't really have the space, did she? Good effort, nonetheless. Offside flag is up. Eventually caught. Now, referee today, Alana Zeke, Thomas Dale, and Alexander Zartavinkovic. No assistance. Yes, I was trying to break that down as I said it. Ball goes out. Did touch off the balls here, so Arpia now have a chance to really deliver something. taken by Kaparazov. Pino trying to work it forward. Bulls now chipped it up and it was going out for a throw on that far side. See on screen Histadolu. Starting today as well. She started in all games thus far this season. And Caster couldn't get to it. Souza working it forward. Ball comes back for Young to deliver it to Margus. She worked it up towards halfway. Bulls win possession. Souza trying to hold court. Challenged by Gentle, just didn't quite work. But still up here on the attack. Walker working it to the right. It's Crofts who cuts back inside. Crofts now chips it up. Pino just didn't have the angle there. And the score remains 2-1 to the Bulls. So the academy going forward. Now it's looked my I can't control it. Walker will need to clear. Goes towards halfway. Pino, dispossessed. Gray. Looks my. She'll have to go back if she could. She couldn't find Millie, but she'll get the foul go her way. So here's the chance again for the Academy. If the Academy can score to make it two or at half time, it'll be very, very intriguing. We've had 20. Nine minutes gone here at VSP. As the night sky and the lights take full effect here. 
This will be taken by the Volk, Isabella Volkanovski. Volkanovski works it into the area, far post. Easy save by Margus. Plenty of time in this one. Bulls will be working their plans. Margus to Young. Histadulu again with possession. Keke de Scipio trying to get to a couldn't. Corey. Keke de Scipio. Keke de Scipio works it into the area. Souza can't get to it. Again, the academy trying to work it forward. Souza chips it herself, going wayward right. Score remains 2 1 to Arpia. As I said, good crowd out tonight. It's a Sunday night, you can hear. The atmosphere and there's a couple of people sitting on the the hill watching the game it's always good to watch football from the hill and i reckon they'll try and trying to avoid me that's the other reason also maybe because they've got dogs too that might also be another reason anyway rpa position to the game let's focus that word does not rhyme with me okay young has it Young, looking to go right. Orazio, dispossessed. Looks by has it. Chips it up. Cook the Scipio. Oh, cleared by Young. Comes down. Ooh. She's down the challenge for Gale. She got back up. And the score remains. 2-1 to RPOs. Chester, the camera operator from the previous game, walks away. Fantastic job by him, working with D-Mac, Dave McDonald. That football New South Wales game, as here's the shot. Bounces back at Charlesville. Really looked by it, couldn't get the ball back inside. The initial shot was really good by Coco de Scipio. But just not to be. But it will be a corner. for the academy. So this on the near side. Will be Volkanovski to take it. Volkanovski. In swing out. And out. That's it. Brilliant. Ball. And that is fantastic and great. The player, the tall timber at the far post, and does it accordingly. Gray does it today. Heads up, girls! Second goal of the season for her. And it's two all. This game has got plenty riding on this. And Crofts now goes forward. Arpia had the lead. And what do they say about 2 0 being a dangerous lead in football? Wuxmeyer. Pressure is building by Barazio. Foul goes the way of the academy. Great to work this. Oh, he's pass initially and the ball back inside. And now the academy building again. 
on this left side. Melly, can she cut it back inside? No. Looks like I can't get to it. Young, good work. Fagale has it on the right. All going back across to Walker. She utilises the services of Histadul. Who goes across to Kaparazov. Works up the line. Taken down the challenge, Lancaster. Ball goes out for a throw on the far side. And Justin Davies is obviously listening to the coverage. He knew what was going to happen. The bingo card was always going to suggest I was going to say those famous words. We all know that. We can't deny it. As uh, we see walking by us, Jess Seaman, not playing today. Did you see her goal? And yeah, you hear the fans, did you see her goal? Yeah, brilliant goal. There's now a chance. Sosa works it back. Looked my eye, couldn't do anything with it. Coco de Scipio now has a chance. She cuts one way. She's trying to work it back. Looks my eye, trying to get to it. At the end, Napia just rolled it back and eventually found Simmons. People watching the replay again, loving the goal. Fantastic effort. So Lampia have to reassess after leading early. It's two all here at Valentine Sports Park. <laughs> and Casta has to come back for it. She couldn't. Fagale. Margus. Young. Lancaster. Walker. Go back inside by Gentle. Couldn't do much. Now again, Arpia looked to reload. Parazov. Lancaster. Not much on offer. of Arpia. Yeah. Lancaster to take this one. So Lancaster. She'll operate towards the middle of the six-yard box, but an easy save by Trudy Simmons. Need the save. So, 39 minutes into this one. Napier trying to clear. They can't. Souza looks my I can't get to it. Young has to get this away. She does eventually. It'll be a throw on this near side. Canby Academy get a goal before half time to make it 3 2. What an amazing game this has been. The first 45 has been tremendous to watch. If you love attacking football, you are watching a game and a half here because they're setting up chances both sides. Gray working it back. And now it's Vale who tries to utilize the right. Was headed down by Kaparazov. It goes back to the Academy. Ball goes out for a throw on that far side.
Walker can't do much with it. And now, Uchtmeyer trying to get to it. Uchtmeyer's got a chance. Uchtmeyer, this time she's got the space. Taken down this time by Young. Yes, the whistle's blown. It will be a penalty. And a card will be given. Captain Young gets a card. Just the yellow, but... Fans trying to say otherwise, but she was taken down. Definitely had to be called a penalty the whole way through. And now they're about to get the lead here. The Academy. We're down 2-0. This will be Coco De Scipio that stands up. Coco De Scipio against Vargas. Goal. Brace. Academy lead. 3-2. So she gets her first half brace and now she can officially say she is at a rate of a goal again. Isabella Kirko Pacipio. So now Kirko Pacipio trying to work it up to look to Maya. She's been fighting for a goal on this one. She scored four this season thus far. Now she's equal. She's equal to the recipient. I should say she's on three, not four. Get it right, Nick. Math, as I said, not always my strong suit. Ball drops back, Souza to the right. Now is a shot. Yeah, he's wayward left. Partly because I was looking at Lancaster's figures, Nick. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> oh. You think I could tell the difference between the sheets? <laughs> anyway, that's okay. RPA position at the back. As long as I call the right players. Ball worked on. Crofts was trying to work it back inside. It's the academy again. And back Coco De Scipio. Now Coco De Scipio works the ball on. Now it's funneled through by Rose, but there was nobody there. There was nobody there in, within sight, so it will be an Arpia ball. So 3-2, Bulls Academy lead Arpia. Sunday night, Valentine Sports Park, NPL action. As the ball goes over halfway. Coming back for it is Gray. The ball eventually touched off Arpia. Gray was trying to put it away, touched off Lancaster. By the way, what about this? I've got to top him off here. He deserves a top off. Michael Sheen knows I'm covering this game tonight. It rings me up. Rings me up a moment ago. Come on, mate. I don't ring you up when you're calling games. Why don't you do it to me? Anyway. I think he realises I'm calling the game by now. Anyway. Ball is at halfway. Sewers up. Working it to the left. Coco De Scipio. Okay, De Scipio cutting back inside. One by Arpia. Walker works it on. Too deep. The ball goes back to 
Simmons. It's actually one thing I really do find it irritating. You know when you tell somebody you're, you're working or doing something and they know you are, but yet they still ring you up because they forget? <laughs> it's like, um, I'll tell you what does happen, and I reckon it happens still quite a bit as Sousa works it back. In the Greyhounds, there are some people that try to ring up the handlers as they're about to box the Greyhound. <laughs> like, come on. They do it for a giggle, thinking it's funny that somebody's phone's going off as they're trying to box the Greyhound. That's why he always kept it on silent. <laughs> My dad never did. He always had ACDC, just Blair or Meatloaf, whatever the ringtone was at the time, as the foul goes way of Harpia. So we're in injury time, as you can see. This to be taken. Lancaster comes across. Actually hobbling at the moment, Lancaster. So this is a chance. Lancaster. About three yards, four yards in from this near side. She'll look to work this into the middle of the six-yard box there. Shot came in, but the save by Trudy Simmons. Makes it easier. All goes to halfway. And that's the whistle for the foul call. It's about to go off premature. They are in injury time. Will be taken by Histadulu. Will be the next whistle. We know that. Unless there's a goal here. Ball has worked in, but cleared away. Ball is playing well at the moment here. Leading 3-2. Want to keep this score at half time. Barazio to the right. Fagale. Fagale turning around. Fagale working it back to Young. Barazio trying to work it back inside. Souza was trying to win the ball. Now goes the way of Arpia. Challenged by Souza. Pino now spinning around Papino. Good work by Gray, the goal scorer before. As Rose works it on to the right, coming back for it. He's in Kapara's eye, but she's beaten. And now it's said they can get a goal here. It looks my took the shot, but it's always going to be saved by Margus. Close to half time here. Now it's half time. Three, two, the Academy lead. Arpia, what a tremendous game. The first 45 was brilliant. The opening goals were from Arpia. Walker and Lancaster, and then the academy, three goals on the spin. Coco de Scipio, Gray, and Coco de Scipio, the second goal was off a penalty. It's half time on MPL New South Wales Women's Action in 2024. Weekend.
Valentine Sports Park, halftime in the MPL Women's New South Wales. Week four action. Bulls leading Arpia 3 2. Goal scorers Elizabeth Gray. Two goals for Isabella Coco Decipio for Bulls Academy. For Arpia, their goal scorers Walker and Lancaster. What an intriguing game this is. It is second v eighth. The top of the pops. Arpia Leichhardt from last season against the Bulls side wanting to dethrone their rivals. Second half is underway. Sousa works it back and it's Gray with possession. It's to be very intriguing how this second half does go because as I said the Bulls have been very good. There's Arpia. Have it on the charge. Here is from Gray. She's had a good game so far, Gray. Good performance by Keke Decipio as well. Two goals, but she's really been starring. Ball thrown back in to the field of play by the Spectat. Actually, a rugby league pass. Had some spiral on that. Ball crossed in by Arpia. Here's a chance for Crofts. Doesn't bounce favourably for her, but it goes back to Fagale. Fagale working at right. On to the mixer. Spinning around is Crofts. The shot, not good. Save is made easily. Trudy Simmons. So 3 2 in this one. Bulls lead. Trudy Simmons with possession. To work this over halfway. Okay, the Scipio heads it and goes back to Arpia. Young, realising support. Couldn't do much with it for Gale, but it did touch off the Bulls last. Will be a throw on this near side. Good work by Corey. Souza back. Boganowski utilising the support on this side in DC Arcio. Gray working it back to the left. Now Arpia trying to hold position. They can't. Vale back. Ball goes over halfway. Eventually goes back to. Sophie Margus for Arpia. Repeating before here at Valentine Sports Park, it was 3-1 Football New South Wales Institute defeating the Northern Tigers. Great result too, I might add. In the other games, we can tell you full-time scores. MacArthur defeating Gladesville 1-0. And Sydney Olympic defeating University of New South Wales at... The Village Green, 6-3. Big win for Olympic in that one. The women's action for 2024. Also in the men's, we can tell you, full-time school. Sydney United defeated Sutherland 1-0. So Sydney United 58 defeating Sutherland 1-0. And the Wanderers' big win against the Wolves it was 2-0 in that game for the Wanderers. Mentioned it before, Spirit did play yesterday in the women's competition. There's cries of foul not coming. Well, Spirit had a two-all draw against Manly, two-all in the first grade game yesterday. Good performance to him, I might add. Both sides is now... Arpia starting to set up again. Crofts is in the middle as it's cleared away. Throw to be taken by Barazio. It's good work by Corey at the back. Gray can't really clear it. Eventually it will be Valo. Ball goes out for a throw on that far side.
Eccles trying to go forward. Looks Meyer. Trying to cut it back inside. Loses possession. Vargas utilising Young. Good footwork. It's worked in by Lane. Ball comes back. Zoe trying to get herself in a good position. Pinga Poulos. Now it's Kaparazov. She's got support behind her for Gale. So they've made two subs, by the way, Arpia. As the ball goes out. I mentioned Lane and Penga Kapoulos. Penga Kapoulos are on. Penga Kapoulos. As the ball is headed out. To it, he's gentle, it's cleared away. Be a throw on that far side. Young. Walker. 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 Walker pressured. Finally gets the foul. Whole time. She was pressured by the Bulls defender. Probably too much. The foul had to be called at the end. to see most expensive body in MPL commentary. Eric Subiano's here watching the action. Hester Tool takes this. Easy save made by Trudy Simmons. Ball booted over halfway. Ball comes back to Shell Young. I've mentioned about uh, three commentators in the journal in this game thus far. Yeah. So I've mentioned, well, actually, technically, one's both a journal and a commentator. So I've already said a cheerio to Crenetti, who is F1 media hopping this weekend. How good. Like, he, he got beat down by Max Verstappen in the press conference and still went again. Good on him. And then uh, Justin Davies, obviously, uh, message before. And Eric, you're obviously here. So the other person was Mike Shen, who inadvertently rang me up during the game. <laughs> and the boy, he said, mate, uh, you do realise I'm calling. He's like, oh, I thought, I thought you were doing the earlier game. <laughs> oh, fun and games. Trudy Simmons has possession. We're going to have some fun. It's been a good game, though. The second half, we're waiting for it to open up like the first half. It will, though. We do expect it. DC Arcio has possession. This is where the balls start to look a bit more dangerous. Though in saying that, Corrie can do much initially first time. She's got the second effort. Ball back inside from Volkanovski. Now Crofts has it for Arpia. Crofts, she's inside the area. Crofts, all oh, good defence. Once again, Gray's there. 
She's having a bottler of a game so far. An absolute bottler. Zapia. Now for set this one again. Fight in. Susa tried to head it. I don't know what she was trying to do. Was now the ball for Walker. Not much with that. The score remains 3-2. Player on the ground still. It is Souza who did fall awkwardly when she was trying to head the ball away. As I said, I did question what she was trying to do. I know she was trying to head it clearly, but I don't know if it was warranted just watching the vision coming through. She's trying to reach out. And, yeah, she's hurt herself on that right side. I think it's around the, the stomach rib area. But as I said, I'm not really a doctor, so I can't exactly tell you exactly where it was, but that's what it looked like for the vision. She's got back up. She'll be okay, but she is pointing to that region. There's now... Gentle tried to get to a gentle, good pressure. Nothing gentle about that challenge, but it's Croft's with possession. She works at Waywood. It's headed away. Marlowe's having a decent game. There's now Arpias starting the roll again. For Gale, back, and it's Walker. And taking down the challenge, Pena Kapoulis. Spinning around is Walker. Walker. I've just realised I couldn't nickname her Hello. And if you don't get the reference, I'll do the joke when I've got a moment when they're not on the attack, Arpia. Always crossed in. Crofts. It's cleared away by the Academy. Arpia. Trying to get possession. It's won by Peko de Scipio. The ball comes back and it will be Young who will work it back to a keeper in Sophie Marcus. Quickly, the reason why I want to call a hello. Hello, Frank Walker from National Tiles. Hello, Frank Walker from National Tiles. Hello. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't. Even the fans have just looked up at me again. What are you doing? In the meantime... Pinagopoulos has possession, a shot, deflects off and eventually goes back to Trudy Simmons. Even Eric looked at me going, come on, mate. You, you know better. Foul on this knee, I just like the way Eric was moving his hands before like a coach. <laughs> Frustrated coach. I could see him coaching a side one day. Ball goes out for a throw on the near side. DC Arcio. Throws it in. Now the academy trying to steer it forward, but one young. But she gets it back. Again, it's for Gale. And now on the right side, it's Lane. Lane drives it up the middle. Panagopoulos. At the end, it's stopped off. The academy at position. goes up to halfway coming back Histatulu ball drops back here on this left side Kaparazov Walker loses possession 
Crofts in the middle. Gentle. Falco's the direction of the academy. So here's the Bulls Academy to set up again. We've had 61 in this one. The academy scored three goals in the space of 20-something minutes. They were down 2-0 against Darpia, the old catch cry of the dangerous lead in football. Well, it is correct on this situation. The academy trying to roll forward. And they to go back to Gray. Gray working it to the right. Couldn't get possession there, Corey. And the ball goes out for a, a goal kick. Up here. Up against the Bulls in this one. Next week they take on the Institute back here on Easter Monday, Arpia. That's a 4.45pm kickoff. You can watch all of the action football New South Wales on YouTube. We'll come down and enjoy some quality football. Now goes the way of Arpia. It's it's great that, especially games here, free entry, just roll up and watch the action. It's a great atmosphere. Good day out, Easter Monday, why not? Just get the chocolates and uh, sit on the hill and watch the game. And you can bring your dog as well, as long as you don't let it onto the field like they do at uh, the Arctic Circle. Sorry, that, that image just absolutely just made me cackle for days. Seeing that. Bulls Academy next week. They're at Peter Moore. Wait, what is the they play Olympic on Sunday. It's it. now. You've got possession. I hope you didn't hear that code coming through on the sound effects microphone, by the way. As now, he's Panagopoulos. She couldn't control her first time. She's got it second attempt. Panagopoulos. Panagopoulos spinning one way, then another way, trying to work it in. Cleared away. Good work by the academy in defence. Now, position once more for Walker. Lane. Low, and it goes back to Trudy Simmons. Ball booted up the halfway. Drops short, of course, because it was stopped by Fagale. Pino, of course, off the field. She was stopped at half time. It's now, here they come again. Arpi out, the ball in the middle. Crofts, no. And it's going to be. I think it will be a goal kick at the end. Arpia trying to claim that it was touched last by the academy. Crofts having a bit of a complaint as we've got a player on the ground, stretching. Trying to get that left leg going. I think, trying to work out who it is. We'll get back up eventually. And he's in Millie. So it's Millie. Brilliant evening for football. Trudy Simmons. Yeah, the Scipio allows Souza to hoik it. Luxmeyer, a challenge against Barazio. Luxmeyer needs to come back inland. She tried to, but Barazio got possession. Now she's away. Works it up to halfway. Over the top of Gentle. It comes back. And now the Bulls with greater reload. Opportunity again on this right side. Ball inside wasn't flashed by Corey. And it's 
Apia. Fagale dispossessed. Rose has it. Going to the left. Ball up the line. Looks Meyer. Can't get to it. Did touch off Apia last. A throw on that far side. By the way, uh, being told uh, one of the contestants in uh, I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here is Frankie Muniz. A.K.A. Uh, Malcolm in the middle. Or the motorsport driver now. He's done a couple of Xfinity races. So there you go. Interesting to know. That will be intriguing. I, I, I don't watch that show, but I'm sort of now interested. Pete Dacos, Dakes. The Macedonian Marvel. Macedonian, uh, Macedonian Marvel. Fantastic Aussie rules player back in the day. And yeah. I don't know why I'm just now intrigued about I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. It should really be I'm a C-list celebrity or I'm an ex-big celebrity, get me out of here, because it's never a massive celebrity from current time, is it? Anyway, we don't have to talk about that. Academy, have possession. And they come to the rights. Volkanovski trying to work in the middle. It's played away. It's on halfway. Souza, she was pulled in the shirt, foul goes her way. Free kick to be taken about 10 yards from halfway. Bulls, a chance to really start to drive this momentum. They're calling for the ball. Marley went left and wasn't overly flash. Volkanovski's ball. Arpia now have it on this left side. Trying to steer it forward. She's going to win possession here at the end. Gentle. Gentle now working her way towards the area. Played out by Melly. Oh, are they going to say yes? It will be a corner. No? The called goal kick. Okay, that's intriguing. Looked like it did touch last the academy, but it will be their ball. Trying to give you the full scores around the grounds from the MPL Women's today. Ones I can tell you, Sydney Olympic defeated University of New South Wales 6-3 and MacArthur defeated Gladesville 1-0. Well, it's starting to really liven up here. Now talking to one of her linesmen. Okay, this is interesting. Lana having a word to Suza, and it's just a word. Whereas Suza giving a word of warning. Hester Doolan works this. Gentle couldn't fire it back. Look at the Scipio. And trying to work her way forward. Rose losing possession. Apia want this third goal. As Fagale works it back. Now it's Young. It does touch off Coco de Scipio. Able to work it back. Now a good ball on by Rose, but too much. Too much on it. The save is made by Margus. Coming 
come back for it is Varley. Utilising Trudy Simmons. Ball goes out on the far side. Working the 71st minute. Mentioned before, Football New South Wales Institute defeated the Northern Tigers 3-1. And I'll try to get confirmation of the game between the Emerging Jets and Sydney University in Illawarra and Blacktown Spartans. I know that that game between the Stingrays and Spartans, and I'll get to that in a second, there was a, a very serious incident. Pogopoulos is trying to work it forward. At the end, the Bulls were able to work it away. The ball goes out for a throw on the far side. The high possession Bulls. I think they'll say, in fact, it'll be a foul inches from that far side. Yeah, so there was a massive incident in that game between the Stingrays and Spartans. There was a challenge. There was no malice. It was just a, a really rough challenge. I'll have to check that. As <laughs> Justin Davies is just putting one of the great lines. He goes, why is Frankie Muniz bad at tests? Because he answers, yes, no, maybe, I don't know. Can you repeat that question? <laughs> I'll give you that. I'll give you that, Justin. That is a good line. That is a good line. Maybe I added that last bit, but still was a good line. Harpia, trying to work it forward. Gentle, takes a shot. Too much on that, going wayward right. Yes, yeah, so I'll try to get those scores of those games. Unless uh, Eric wanted those scores on him. But yeah, I'll try to get that Stingray Spartan score. That ended up at 5-1. Stingrays defeated Spartans. Could win for the Stingrays. And in the other game, Emerging Jets and Sydney University, 3-all. They ended up 3-all there. And that was called by uh, Peter Pryor. Uh, I hope it was Peter Pryor. I know he was scheduled there, but just a matter of if his car will get him there. <laughs> Souza has possession. And now they've won an Arpia. Ball from Histadolu. Lane, running her lane right, but she's going to lose possession. Good work by Millie. Fagale has it on halfway. Fagale coming left. Ball up the line from Caparazon. And now it's a chance again for Crofts. Cleared away. Great effort once again by Elizabeth Gray. Well and truly... Having a purling game as that goes the way of Arpia. So I think that's all the scores we needed to give you from the games today. Two all draw yesterday, Spirit and Manly. And I think the dog may have had a goal as well. <laughs> Sorry. I, I still can't get over that, how the dog ended up on the field. I still can't get over it. I can't. I've mentioned it about five times in the past two days in broadcasting. <laughs> More importantly, we've got a, a Bulls player touching her head. Checking her. I think it may be Gray, the goal scorer. So they'll check her, the... Medical staff come in. Hopefully she'll be okay. She's had a great game. for this to 
settle up here in a huddle. There's Young really telling her troops what they need to do. The captain. Kapara's off close to us. She's also pointing. You can see gentle thinking as Crofts makes her statement. A couple of words being made from the Arpia players as they try to work out their plans. How good's the vision too for Miller to get that? As Gray does walk off the field, and I think uh, hopefully she's okay. Oh, they're going to make a sub. They're going to make a sub. And has been called. Sadly, she's not going to be good enough to continue, which is a shame. She's been clearly one of the, the better players on the park today. Really been impressed with Gray today. Same as uh, Keke de Scipio. She's had a good game against her old club. Just awaiting on this sub to be made. It's going to be in... Tess Rickard and as soon as I said Rickard you know what I had in my head Murray Walker in 1998 going Rickard Raydell <laughs> as I said my mind goes to Mars <laughs> anyway Walker to take this Walker Works it towards the far post. Oh, it's a chance! It's in! The question will be... There's no. They called this back. I think they have. Yes, they have. It's not to be Trudy Simmons. Still on the ground. It was Walker that... Work this set piece and just watching the vision. Yeah, they've caught a foul. It was the challenge from Gentle. Well, I thought that could have been the case. Just having a look at the screen and it was the case. You can see it on MPL. New South Wales football, New South Wales YouTube to be exact. Of course, one of the great things, you can always skim back to look at that in the live vision. You can make your own replays. Still, you can rewind unlike Paramount. A ball over halfway. Goes back to Histadulu. And now it's for Garley. It works it down this right channel. The ball goes over the top of the Bulls player. Will be Imogen Lane for Arpia. Lane cutting back inside. Lane takes a shot. It's Waywood. And the score remains 3-2 to the academy. Working the... 79th minute. <laughs> I now get why your hands were moving around, Eric. Okay. All right. Fair play. Now, they try to go forward again. It's cleared away. Razio there. Be taken on this near side. Erica Di Ciasio. Header comes in. Harpia will need to clear ball does bounce out. So it'll be a throw once again. Ball does go out for the goal kick. Time starting the tick against Arpia. There is time, but they really need to look to set this one up to get first the level up, and then the match winner. Kaparazov has it on the left side. Ball goes over halfway. Kaparazov now driving herself forward. It goes to the left. Walker again. Looks to cross this in. It bounces down. Can they spin around? 
again, it goes back to Fagale. She goes to a right. Woman by Lane to Gentle. Gentle once more. Too much on that, but uh, may have touched the academy in the process. It did. Will be a corner on that far side. So it'll be Walker to take this. We an out swing up. She works it in. Headed down initially by Hester Dulu. Handball cries. Will have to be called. It has been. Well, there you go. This will be Croft's chance to make it 3-all. What a superb opportunity for Ashley Crofts. Though, can Trudy Simmons be the player to win the game or at least save them from making it 3-all? Crofts. Save by first time. Crofts, second time. Over the top. Trudy Simmons does the job. What about that? What about that? All set up. And it's 3-2. The Academy have still got this. Holy Toledo back there. Ball comes back from Young. Margus coming to this left side. Kaparazov trying to straighten up. Going to play on the ground for the Academy. I think it could be Ruktmar. She's flat on the ground here. Yeah, she was taken down on the challenge. Did not look good. Just seeing it on the, the screen. Oh boy. In the meantime, we wait to see what's going to happen here. She does not look good. This is a concern. She wants to look to my I'm just going to have a look on our YouTube page, Football New South Wales on YouTube. I just want to see the incident. So, all goes down the left side. And, yeah... This way of describing this, Simmons works to the left. Trudy Simmons' uh, ball is down to Luchtmeyer. Then she's taken down by the Arpia player. She's up. Hopefully she's okay to continue. She's, she's had a good game. She's deserved the goal. She hasn't been able to. We're just going to wait to see what the, the call is going to be. She's coming to halfway. Yeah, I think that means they're going to make it. Well, she's hobbling, so they're going to probably make a sub. If they haven't already. They're try to see if she's okay, but I reckon she's she's done for the game personally. But we'll wait. We'll wait and see. As now the ball goes over halfway. Arpia Leichhardt. At the moment, I've got the player advantage. Hestadulu working it back. Walker. Sets it down the left. Set it out. Of course, this will be intriguing these next couple of minutes of this contest.
Now it drops back. Walker. She's going to come on here. I reckon she might. Doesn't look great, but they haven't made the change yet. Ukmeyer. We're waiting to see. I think she is done now. She's walking away. We're going to see the images now as Young comes back. Always difficult, isn't it? So they'll make a change. The academy, and we're about to see a substitution. Neva's about to come on. Papangelis to come on. So looks by off, Papangelis on. So that's the substitution. Apia, by the way, did notice that uh, Colabro is on. Colabro on the field. Hestadulu, ball back inside. For Gale, down the right channel. Lane, good ball. Ferrazio does touch off the academy. Arpia looking for this late goal. Inside the last four minutes of regulation time. As, uh, Fagale was about to jump the fence, realised the ball was not anywhere near the fence, or at least, actually, wait a minute, Marcus decided that let's just get a ball that's on this side of the fence instead of trying to jump over. Fagale was about to do a high jump. Probably not safe during a game. You don't want to injure yourself because you're trying to jump a fence as now we'll see a ball thrown back. Just realised it was Margus was getting a ball that was on this side of the fence. At least it's good to see one of the uh, fans on the far side of the ground is playing ball boy. But yeah, you, you don't, you don't want to hurt yourself in that situation. Corner taken, out swinger, Crofts can't control, Souza trying to get to it, Souza does, and now can she work it into the middle? She can't. Arpia had possession again. Fagale to the right. Well, she couldn't get the ball in first time. Walker, she's going to try it out. She's taken down the area. It's called. Once again, it has been called. And Shruti will have to defend again. Harpia's chance to make a three all. Walker hobbles. And here it is. This time will be gentle to take it, not Crofts. Gentle be the difference in this situation. Trudy Simmons did it first time around. Can she do it again? Chance to make a three all. Gentle. First time saved by Simmons. Second time it's in. Arpia have made a three all. It was bound to happen. And it looks like Colabro has done the business. Confirmation. There was bodies around, but the effort. Arpi have made it three all, and now it's their chance. It was Colabro who got a foot on that. Brilliant work. So we're in injury time now.
both sides have chances now to win the game. Is it going to be Arpia? Last week on their opening game of the season against Olympic. Their opening win of the season, I should say. Prior to that, two losses. They've been good tonight. Maybe not defensively, but attackively they've been good. They've got a chance in this one. Throw taken by Crofts. It's in the area. It bounces over the top of Gentle. Susan needs to clear. She does. The coming across is Lane. Lane was trying to push it forward. The ball goes out. Throw on the far side. Oh, this has been good. So, on this brilliant day, we are seeing a chance for either side of the win. Will it be Arpia, who are on the attack? It's Barazio down the right side. Ball touches off Arpia last throw. Don't know how long in this one to go. So we're going to ride it with everybody here at the venue. Just guessing to see what's going to be the moment. It's now. That's got to be it. Yep. Yeah. Has to be called. It was Rose, and she's going to get a card, a yellow, for her challenge on Histadula. She wants more. Not the case. Wouldn't it be a big blow at this moment for either side to lose a player? You don't want to in this situation. Out to see this. Young delivers the ball towards the edge of the 18-yard box. It will bounce back to Walker. She'll have a ping. It's wayward, and it goes out for a goal kick. Looking likely to be over. A three-all draw could well be justified. It's... Beat action all game, even though the second half hasn't seen goals aplenty, it still has been intriguing. Colbro scoring the level up. Trudy Simmons again made a couple of great saves. Foul goes towards Bulls. They'll have a chance here. We don't know how long left. We don't know. And that makes it even more interesting. We watch Alana, the referee, what she's going to do. But we watch Volkanovski as well. She's going to hoik it forward. Is this one last roll of the dice? It bounces back. Crofts needs to clear. She does. Vale trying to win possession. She can't. Apia, have it. Crofts. Hits the tool, and yeah, Gentle's not going to run on this. It will be Trudy Simmons. Still on this one. Rose in the middle. Short ball was nice by Corey. Good to Scipio, couldn't do much with it. Arpia again, trying to win it, but Souza for the academy. Loses possession. Time ticking. Rose. Has a shot. Marcus makes the save. Could well be the game there. She'll set the play up here. And might make a change to Arpia. Golding looks like the player to come on, if that's the case. Oh, the challenge by Walker. The foul will go the academy way. So Crofts is talking to the staff. She's off and Golding's on. 
You've got this Bulls player on the ground. It's been the case throughout the game. Yeah, so there was a delay in that Stingrays Blacktown game I saw. Uh, that did end up seeing Stingrays win. I think I said 5 1 against the Spartans. So we are waiting for this Bulls player. So she is trying to get up. She'll be off the field regardless. Can't waste time in this situation. Cricket, no, I should say D. Ciasio, it's his shoulder. She is done for the game. But you're just going to make the change. Poppy Davison will come on. So repeating the scores full time. MacArthur losing the Gladesville in the reserves 2 0. And New South Wales, the University of New South Wales reserves lost the Sydney Olympic 4 0. So she's official off the field here. DC Arcio, Poppy Davison makes her way on. So here it is. One last roll of the dice. Volkanovski. Needs something. Ricard. Can't do it. Ball drops back to Millie. Millie working it forward. Souza can't get to it. Young was the player there, but Souza trying to work it back. Chance again. Cross came in by Polypagensis. Jealous, but didn't work. That'd be a played out throw on this far side for the Bulls. Coco de Scipio. Coco de Scipio. Working it in. Couldn't be cleared. RP eventually do. And the ball goes out. Throw on this side. Is a goal coming? Late in this one. Injury time in the eighth. Has to be played away. She goes forward. Panagopoulos. And she works it on. Lane will have to work it forward. Boots it. Colabro can't get to it. Trudy Simmons. Has it. Boots it over halfway. Histadulu, a short ball on. Golding has it on halfway. Couldn't get to it. Walker, throw on this near side. Throw to be taken. Not good for Rickard in that situation. Volkanovski coming back for it. She clears it. Arpi is going to have the chance now. The ninth minute of injury time. Golding takes the throw. Volkanovski just boots it out of the way. A point will do, it looks like. In both teams' perspective. Though a win could be on for Arpia. Walker works it towards the edge of the area. Set it back. Milly has played it out. That's the whistle. Full time. A draw between the Bulls and Arpia. Three all. Gray scored a goal for the Academy, which was a cracking hitter. Coco de Scipio, two go Coco de Scipio I should say, two goals. And for Arpia, Walker, Lancaster and Calabro, the goal scorers. We'll go through those scores again. I did bring you before. Stingrays defeated the Spartans. That was 5-1. So 5-1 in that game there in Macedonia Park. And the Emerging Jets, they won, the, oh, well, they drew against Sydney University 3-all. 
I said before that uh, Football New South Wales Institute defeated Northern Tigers here 3-1. And a win before to MacArthur, 1-0 against Gladesville. Sydney Olympic, they defeated the University of New South Wales, 6-3. And repeating two all yesterday between Spirit and Manly at the Arctic Circle. Great weekend of football. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be back on Saturday night at Landon for the NPL men's. Watching Hills play Manly. And I've already made sure that I'm in the corporate, uh, the corporate box, the media box already. Same thing, I guess. Dave McDonald, uh, I said he has to provide sandwiches. And uh, Eric, uh, you might be allowed in the box. Anyway, I'm joking. You will be allowed. <laughs> now you'll be in there. All right, full time. I hope you've enjoyed it. Nicholas Kutniak on behalf of Miller, the camera operator. We say good evening, and we'll catch you at the football soon. Bye-bye for now.